One of my most favorite sketch pads for printing was the Jerry's Colossal Sketch Pad, and it was out of stock. And when I finally found it, I knew exactly what I was going to do. So I purchased quite a few of them, and then I headed out to a, it's a local, almost like a junk store, to be honest. It's called the Scrap Exchange, and they just, it's basically like a creative reuse center where you know, there's a classroom space and definitely a space where artists can show their work. And I always just love to go there to just scrounge around on the floors, see what kind of new papers they might have in because people donate all sorts of things from scrapbook papers to old ledgers sometimes. You can find all kinds of stuff, yarns, fabrics, you name it, toys. There's so much stuff there. And you can just dig around in bins for, I know I could just spend hours there. And once those uh, colossal sketch pads, when I found those, because like I said, they are my favorite um, sketch papers to print on, I knew I needed to have myself a jelly printing session. So I decided to go over to the scrap exchange and find some unusual type things I just wanted to show you guys a bit of my haul from my local, it's almost like a junk store to be honest, but anywho, um, I found this, it's like a, a giant Lego, I guess it's the base of it. And I know that you can even find these on like um, Amazon and such like that, but this, was just perfect for printing and so I saw a bunch of random like the little Lego blocks that would have been fun but when I saw this I just kind of went for that one and then they had several kinds of um, golf balls that I thought you could um, roll around and get some texture they also had a bunch of these guys and they're like the, I think it's like plastic canvas. Um, so I'd gotten a bunch of these and then this giant one, I figure I could um, like cut it down into the shape and or size of my plate. So I got some of these and then um, I found these and I thought the wheels would be kind of cool for um, making marks and such like that. So with these and all the other fun toys that I found, um, let's just pull out some stuff and start printing. So with all of my toys in hand, I've got my jelly printing plate, my brayer, that colossal sketch pad. I've also got an extra uh, jelly plate over there that I'm going to kind of use as a palette and all of my Lucas acrylic paints and some stencils and um, some stamps and I'll make sure to have everything listed in the description box below. These are the Rubber Dance Art Stamps by Suzanne Rose and um, I really did have a lot of fun using that extra plate, almost like a, um, an ink pad, but it was a, a palette at where I would spread out paint and I, you'll see in a minute, I don't want to bore you guys with all the stuff. Um, but I, would you know, grab some stamps and then the toys that I had, of course, we've got to have some coffee and I'm using titanium white and turquoise here as well as a fluorescent pink and my brayer. And I think I grabbed, honestly, all of the Lucas paints that I had um, to just play around with printing and to honestly just see what I could come up with. Um, a lot of these turned out pretty good, some not so great, but it's always so much fun to just play around with your stamps and 
even if even though I have this sped up um, I do slow it down so that you guys can see uh, the prints that I kind of pull I'm using on top of that same plate some carmine and um, that second plate that I've got it's literally almost like like I said a palette I'm getting a clear block and some of those Suzanne Rose stamps and just transferring paint over on the stamp. Adding some of that mauve right on top as well as rose. And like I said, some of these came out to be really cool and then some were kind of a flop. And at the very end of this video, I will have um, all of the prints that I made. I will show you guys um, everything like a flip through, I guess. But I did have fun. And if you've been here for a while, you know that... I could spend days on end just creating new painted papers and um, I do want to do some more paper with um, it's like oil pastels and inks and stuff like that so um, leave a comment below if that's something that you guys are interested in I'm using some it's lavender and mauve Lucas acrylic paint and I, I'm <laughs> just having fun. I've got those, that car or Tonka truck thing that I just kind of ran tracks with, um, or ran the wheels over the plate to kind of create track marks. And, oh, I literally had so much fun. It was a challenge, but it was also so much fun to just throw in some random things and yes I continued to use my stamps and my stencils that I would normally use but it was fun to just throw in some other random things like that big uh, Lego base that I found that's been a treasure So now I'm just using some Prussian blue. I don't ever clean my plate in between because I do love just the random, I guess, trash that you get and the grunge that you get. So I just kind of leave everything there and see what happens. And sometimes you get some really cool effects or some really cool grunge marks left over. And, you know, sometimes some things are a dud, but it's always fun. So this time I'm using some titanium white, some fern, and some mint. And just I just love that color combination together, especially over that uh, Prussian blue that I just kind of left down there. And um, just random stuff that you know, I've got random bits of paper, like uh, craft type wrapping paper that I had, um, sheet music, all kinds of stuff and what's great is all of these papers and such I can find at my that resale store or the junk store like I found a bunch of this old printer computer printout type paper um, they have just so much stuff the it, you can I could spend hours upon hours upon hours just looking around at all the kinds of stuff that they have. So some more of that uh, Prussian blue, using it to just transfer or ink up that stamp. And again, I'll leave everything um, that I'm using in the description box. I keep going back to, even though I have all of these other papers, I was so thrilled to find that the, and I've said the name wrong, it is the Soho Urban Artist Colossal Sketch Pad. The um, 
older one was the Jerry's Colossal Sketch Pad, but now it's the Soho Urban Artist Sketch Pad. And even though, you know, it's made for dry media, like drawing with graphite or colored pencils and such, I just find it is the perfect, perfect sketch pad and paper for printing. Um, it is, it, it comes in a variety of sizes, like 9 by 12, 11 by 14, or 18 by 24. I usually just get the 9 by 12. It's 100 pages, soft white color, which then helps the prints just kind of pop. Um, it does have, it's 75 pound paper, and it's like a medium weight paper, um, and it has like a, a fine tooth surface to it, and it, it's just the perfect paper such a great price i think the 9 by 12 is usually somewhere around nine dollars ish and i just absolutely love using it to print with i purchased some for my students in my classroom to do jelly printing with and it's just an incredible incredible paper to just like a plain white paper to print on um it just makes me happy. I know, you know, even though I have all of these other colors and for this particular print, I just use some Payne's gray and I'm right back to that, um, sketch pad again, because with all of the other papers that I find, I still just love using that one. Just so I don't know. I just, it's my favorite, absolute favorite paper to print on and to, um, like watercolor washes that I'm just going to cut up and uh, put in my journals or sketchbooks <clears throat> and such like that. Um, even though, like I said, it's totally meant for dry media and sketching, uh, the one beautiful thing that I love to do is push my supplies to the limit and just see now, uh, you know, I'm not creating a watercolor wash to be sold I'm just gonna or these prints I just want to cut them up and um, have fun playing with them so that's why I kind of use the materials a bit different but um, it is such an economical paper and just a beautiful white color and perfect for printing As you guys will see in the end, some of these are, they turned out really, really, really good. And then some were duds. You know, I always love this color combination. It is titanium white, Indian yellow, and that fluorescent magenta or pink, I think it's what it's called. Um, and then just a random stencil. I'm also putting some Payne's Gray because I just wanted to get, um, use it almost as like a stamp ink of sorts. And now I'm just playing with all the stuff, just seeing what I can come up with. You know, I'd, one thing, because this video would be 88 hours long, um, I did a lot more printing off camera and, um, because once I start, I literally cannot stop. And, you know, that, um, the Soho Urban Artist, the Colossal Sketch Pad, literally gives me a hundred pages of printing. So we've got to just use all 100 in a session, right? I just find that once I start with this, I have such a hard time trying to stop because I just want to get to the next color and ooh, I wonder what will happen if I tried this color you know I just ugh. and at this point now my desk is an absolute disaster because I'm running out of space but 
I mean, hello. I just love it. It's so pretty. Some of them came out so great. You know, just... For me, it's all about the experimenting. And just playing. Seeing what you get. I'm totally okay with printing over pages that kind of turned into duds. Because all I'm going to do is cut them up and use them in my sketchbooks or in my art journals. So it, um, it honestly doesn't matter. I don't ever look at the entire thing as one whole piece of art. Because I know I'm just going to chop things up later. I do love what that Lego base thing, the uh, marks or the patterns that it makes. Oh, I could just, is there anybody else out there that loves to do this type thing as much as I do? There has to be somebody because I end up almost acting like a mad scientist. And I do love to see what different color combinations I can get. Again, sometimes it's an epic fail, but then sometimes I just love the colors that kind of mush and come together. Ooh, I just, I'm in love. I could literally do this all day long and just play and see what I get and it's just a lot of fun. I think by now you guys can tell that I groove on this kind of thing. And all I want to do is just print more papers and print more papers and print more papers and print more papers. Because we can never have too many papers. I didn't really like the way that that one came out, but it's one of those pieces of paper that I will reprint on or, you know, even though it doesn't look great as a whole, once you just chop it up and use like a tiny square or like a rectangle on it, say, to put a date or something in your journal or sketchbook, then it's, it, it's a totally different piece of paper and depending on what part you cut up um this is sadly where my camera decided to stop recording so i'm just getting everything cleaned up i cannot live without these soho wipes and um now i will just stop talking and you guys can enjoy the prints that i made I said I was going to stop talking, but okay, who am I? <laughs> Literally, we all know that I'm going to talk. But let me know down in the comments if um, you enjoy jelly printing or what's your favorite thing to use with your printing plate to make marks and such like that. And also, let me know in the comments if there's something specific you guys would want to see in a video next. Um, just, you know, randomly throw out some ideas of what you might want to see me play with. And now I shall stop talking so that you can enjoy the flip through. I 
can't stop talking. Who am I kidding? I do love the grunge that comes from not cleaning off the plate and of course just the different textures and such like that that kind of are left on the plate and then you pick them up in another print and you're totally not expecting it. Um, those just happen to be my favorite favorite ones that just kind of happen on accident. I do love that. That was the golf ball print that um, my camera cut off but this is everything guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!